I'm Fox 4's Anvar Ruziev here in Fort Myers at Cypress Lake High School, where their top student artists are showcasing their work for a chance to win scholarships from a nonprofit group. The Fort Myers Beach Art Association has been a part of this art community since 1951. Their gallery on Estero Island stood there for 54 years before Ian took down the building. We usually have 200 members. Right now we have 100. We've, a lot of our um, artists have lost everything. The Art Association is now raising money to match FEMA's reimbursement money. But that hasn't stopped the group from nurturing creativity in Fort Myers. For the first time since Ian, the gallery held the student scholarship show, but this time at Cypress Lake High School. A creative break for a community still rebuilding. Art is also escapism. Uh, they may be reflecting their emotions in the work, but not a concrete image of the hurricane devastation, which is really interesting considering how many of our kids really suffered through that and were homeless for weeks or months. I'm very inspired by like people telling their own stories of how they feel. Um, and just, I also like doing like details. <laughs> and those details cascaded the walls as onlookers went from painting to painting to observe the works these young artists created. At the end of the show, the winners were announced and taking first place is Emily Moore. Yeah! Emily's work was inspired by issues that she saw in today's world. The homeless spikes that are put up or the fact that most countertops aren't accessible for people in wheelchairs. I just liked to show people that because I don't think that it's something that's talked about enough. We asked Emily what she plans to do with her award-winning art. Once I'm done with the art, I don't know. I, I give it to people, you know. It's just the process for me. $4,000 in scholarships will go to the student artists here for their creativity. Reporting from Fort Myers, Anvar Ruziev, Fox 4.